Um, this is just a little video I'm gonna do. Um, baby names. A lot of my viewers out there might be pregnant and looking for baby names, so I thought I would talk about my kids and their baby names and other names that we thought of and why we landed where we were. My first one, I was 19 years old when I had him, and to tell you the truth, I totally expected him to be a girl. Um, I was mainly close to my two girl cousins, and I just kind of, I don't have any brothers or sisters, so I'm an only child. And that might be kind of surprising that I have six kids and I came from a family of me and nobody else. But anyhow, I was 19 years old and I kind of expected him to be a girl. I really didn't give much thought to the fact that he could be a boy. Every time anybody asked me if I knew what I was having, I was like, no, but I'm pretty sure it's a girl. I'm pretty sure it's a girl. And we went in for the first ultrasound to see if it was a boy or a girl and she told me she thought she might have seen a penis but she didn't see a scrotum so it could have been the umbilical cord. I was like it's totally a girl, I was an umbilical cord, totally a girl. And so I went to pick out little girl names. Um, the name that I had chosen for the first pregnancy if it had been a girl was I was going back between Caitlin Stephanie and Katie Lynn Stephanie. I kind of liked them both. And we went in for two more ultrasounds before we got the open legs. Definitely a boy. And I was like, hold on, wait, no girl? What am I going to do? Oh my goodness, a boy? What do I do with one of those? Um, I was kind of a little flabbergasted. Um, you know, I didn't know anything about boys. But then we went to a Christmas party, um, and my husband's cousin had just had a little boy. He was about six weeks old, and I held this little boy dressed in blue and went, it's going to be fine. It's going to be great. It's a baby. And he is now 14 years old. And they were asking me over at the party what we were going to name him. And I was just like, oh, I don't know. My husband had was thinking of the name Dustin, but I grew up with blonde hair and blue eyes, and if the baby looked anything like me, Dustin, blonde hair, blue eyes, I just wasn't feeling it. Um, I had come up with the name Alexander. I liked the name Alex. I thought it was kind of a cool name, and my husband wasn't too thrilled with it at first. He said it kind of sounded like biblical, but I was like, and the problem with that would be you know, and he never really came up with any other suggestions. So we went with Alexander. Um, some of my husband's family kind of wanted a junior, but I um, don't do the junior thing for several reasons. One was um, that I dated somebody who was a junior and that was his name. So just too kind of weird, you know? <coughs> and Secondly, I've heard of so many stories where um, there's been so many mix-ups between father and son, you know, son gets a ticket, the father thinks it's for him, and it's just too much stickiness. Just give them their name, give them their own name, make them their own person, you know. But I did make a compromise, is my husband and my first son share a middle name. So my first son is Alexander Christopher. Next one. Okay, you got your boy. You're pregnant again. So what do you think it's going to be? It's got to be a girl, right? You got your boy. You picked your most favorite boy name that you could think of. It's just got to be a girl. I mean, it's definitely got to be a girl. So I took a friend with me. We went to that ultrasound and we wait, were waiting to find out that we had a little girl in there. And no. Boy. Okay. I had already had my name picked out. It was going to be Abigail Christine. And so I would have Alexander, Christopher, and Abigail Christine. Their initials would have matched. It would have been totally cool, but it's a boy. Okay, um, yeah. So, back to the baby name book again. 
and I'm really just totally stumped at this point. And I started asking people what kind of other names that they had picked out for their kids and stuff. And a friend of mine, um, she was going to name her son, if he was a girl, Cameron. But that was a unisex name. So I was like, that's kind of cute. Um, and then I kind of liked the middle name Nicholas. My husband was like, I really don't care for the name Nicholas. I said, all right, we can do something else and just come up with some other suggestions of something else that you'll like. And he will be 13 next month. I haven't got another suggestion, so he's Cameron Nicholas. So, next baby comes around. You know what? I've got two boys. I've been told it's all my husband makes. I'm not even giving it a thought that it could be a girl at this point because it's a boy. So let's just get down and get that boy name out right now and forget about even thinking that it could be a girl. So I get I did before I got pregnant just pick out some names that I kind of liked for a girl, but I didn't really give it much thought. And I had Isabella Ariana picked out just because I really just like the name and it's just fun to think about possibilities of having a girl even though you're not even pregnant or anything. But um so we dug for that boy name. And I had Alex and Cam. I was like, Nick is kind of cute. So I came up with Dominic Anthony. And I thought that was really cute. Um, My husband's father's middle name was Anthony. So it was kind of a family name. So it would have been kind of cute to do that. And we went in for that ultrasound to find out it was a boy. And I'm just waiting to find out it's a boy. And she puts a little probe on my belly. And tells me it's a girl. I go, oh my goodness, it's a girl. And I'm just like, and they're like, okay, you can breathe now. And I'm like, I forgot how. It's a girl? What? I, me, I'm getting a girl? I've got my two boys and my girl. Like, I'm going to have, like, maybe not a set, but I'm going to have both genders. And we're going to get to do Barbie dolls and trucks and we can do everything. We're going to get it all. Oh my goodness, I just felt so, like, blessed to have a daughter and sons. I mean, I've known people who've had five of one gender before they've gotten their, their, um, daughter or son, or some of them just have three or four of the same gender and they just give up, but I was getting a girl, and I was just so excited. I remember driving home in my car, oh my goodness, and I would just scream, yay, a girl, it's so exciting, the boys are going to be so happy they're getting a little sister. That is going to be great. So, but by this time, I had had a friend who had a daughter named her Isabella, so I was like, man, I don't know if I can quite do that, you know, I mean, hmm. So, we went back to the drawing board, we went back to Abigail for a little while, and I was back and forth between Abby and Izzy, Abby, Izzy, I don't know which one, and I actually called her Izzy while she was inside on Abby, kind of figuring out which one, but I kind of felt like Abigail was second best, and I thought my daughter deserved first birth, and okay, she called her daughter Bella, so I was going to call mine Izzy, and it would be fine with the confusion, and I didn't want to regret not naming her what I wanted to name her later on, because just because, so we went with Isabella, Ariana kind of, Isabella Ariana was a little too much of a mouthful. It kind of sounded a little musical. So I had come up with the middle name Catherine. But my husband said he didn't like Catherine. Fine. This time I looked for something else. I had a friend who had a little girl named Lauren. And I was like, Lauren, Catherine. They kind of have the same ring at the end. So that was kind of cool. So, um, and we spelled Lauren L A U. R-Y-N. And so Isabella is now 10. So we had our two boys and our girl and we were just totally thrilled. Then we got pregnant again. Okay, so boy, boy, girl. So yeah, it'll be another girl, right? Totally. It's gonna be another girl. But I'm just unsure. Don't even think about the girl name. Don't think about it because it's just not gonna happen. But maybe it will. So we go in for that ultrasound, and at this point, I'm like, I'm not even going to find out. It's not even, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. I'm not going to find out. So we go in, and we have an ultrasound at 15 weeks, and they 
actually could find out what I was having and I didn't realize that. They just started asking me questions. Well, what do you have at home? Oh, I have two boys and a girl. Like, what are you hoping for? I'm kind of hoping for a girl. My, my daughter would really like a girl. But, um, they tell me, uh, oh, it looks like you're having another boy. We didn't exactly want to know what I'm having. And they're like, oh, I'm so sorry, but it's really early, so we could be wrong. At that point, it's instilled in my head that it's a boy, so I've got to know for sure. So, um, we go in again at 20 weeks, and it's definitely a boy. Um, and I was thinking of the name Gabriel Wyatt was the name I was picking out. Um, kind of like Gabe. I thought it was really cute, and you know. And as time went on, it just I don't know. It wasn't spectacular enough for me. So I came up with Zachariah Elijah, which there's a lot of Zacharies, but not as many Zachary. Zacharias, and I totally just love the name. Very biblical, very strong, and that's what I wanted for my son. So I was totally ecstatic. He is now eight years old, and he is awesome. Well, we got pregnant with number five. Here we are pregnant again. All right, so we got three boys. What are the chances that we could have another girl? I don't know. I really don't know that we'll have another girl. I mean, maybe that was just a fluke. Who knows? But we go for the ultrasound. I'm sitting in the waiting room, and I'm trying to decide, do I want to find out, or do I want to wait? And in comes a lady, a little baby girl, precious as can be. She was dressed in a little white, like, romper with little flowers and had a matching blanket, and she just sat in the car seat and just slept. And a few minutes later, she started fidgeting, and mom picked her up and just cuddled with her. Then came in another mom with a little boy, and he was a little bit older, and he was just sitting in the car seat, and he was kind of cranky, and mom was on the phone, and I was just like, I don't want one of those. They seem so sweet. And so I went in there, and I was totally convinced it was a boy. So she puts the little thing on my belly, and I see the two legs, and she pushes down, and I'm expecting at that point to see the penis, and I did not see a penis. We saw something else, so I was really excited again. I'm having another daughter. I had no clue what to name her. I wouldn't even put any thoughts into names. I was like, oh my goodness, it's got to go with my other kids' names. They all have these long, strong names. But what, you know, I, I kind of wanted something with an A, because at that point we were calling Izzy Bella, so I wanted something with an A. Hmm. And one night I was lying awake and she was just a kicking and a kicking and a kicking and I was just like, I cannot sleep. And so we started with, um, it's like this kind of spending out from Amelia. I think somebody said that you could call Amelia Emma. I couldn't figure out how to do that, but you know. And I was like, Emma, I really like Emma, but it's way too short. What could I add to Emma? And all of a sudden, Emily came out. I was like, Emily. And I was going to see a friend the very next day. Her name was Emily, E-M-I-L-Y. And I was like, Emily, Emily. And I think I had Louise picked out first, but for some reason, Claire just popped up in my head and I totally loved it. And my husband loved it. And Emily is six now and she's awesome. So now on to our newest guy. I knew from day one that it was a boy. I was just like, this is a boy. Just know it. Just know it. Uh, it's a boy. And I'm totally happy with that. Um, you know, I did kind of think that a lot of my pregnancies were girls, but this one I knew was a boy. And we have four bedrooms here. Me and my husband have one bedroom. Um, the three older boys are in another bedroom and the two girls share a room. And there's really no, there was no room to add a girl into that room. So this room used to be the playroom, and it has now been transformed into the nursery for the baby. And if it was a girl, um, Emily would have moved into this room when she was old enough to get into a regular size bed. And that would have left Isabella with her own room, and she would have been totally thrilled with that. But it is not a girl. So Emily and Isabella will stay in the same room together. And... Zachariah, which is the youngest of the boys, will move into this room 
with the baby once he is old enough to get into like a bunk bed or something. So I will have two boys in this room, two boys in that room, and two girls in that room. So it's perfect. So I knew that this was a boy. I just knew it. And for this baby, we decided to hold a gender reveal party to find out whether we were having a boy or a girl. One of my friends had come with me to the ultrasound and she found out that I was having a boy. I did not know I was having a boy. And we found out by cutting into the cake and finding blue candies in the cake. And then I made a really cool video to announce to everybody who wasn't able to come that we were having a little boy. And then we went to an ultrasound the week after to confirm it was definitely a boy. So we're having a boy. Yay! But before the party, everybody was like, hi, baby girl. Everybody was calling a girl. You better start picking out some girl names. But I was like, I'm not even worried about a girl name. Um, we had, I kind of looked at a girl name just in case. Um, I had Avery, and it was A-V-A-I-R-E-E, -A -A -E -E, Avery, and I would have called her Ava. But, eh. It just, it was, it was like, okay, you know, I probably would have dug a little bit deeper and to see what else I could find if it was a girl, but I knew, nobody else knew, but I just knew that it was a boy. And I was digging really deep, I really wanted a very strong name, um, I had like Tobias in that nickname, in those names, you know, I had a lot of strong names, um, Salius, uh, just lots of biblical names, um. A friend of mine had had a little baby boy um, a few months before I did, and she named him Matthias, which I thought was cute, but I misread it. I read it Matthias, and originally I wanted to call the baby Matt, and Matthias didn't exactly have Matt. It was Matthias, so it wasn't it Matt wasn't in the nickname. So I was like, that's not gonna work for me. So I went back to the drawing board. But then I thought, Matthias, that's a really cute name. It's got to exist. Let's look it up. How do I think it would be spelled? Matthias. So I put in Math and then Theus. And I actually found that it does exist. It is a variation of Matthew, but it exists. And we. I told it to my husband, and he was like, yeah, if it's a boy, but it's probably a girl. And I was like, no, nope, I think it's a boy. And so I was definitely set on calling him Matt, so I picked the middle name Aiden, because our last name starts with a T, so that would spell Matt, and he would totally be Matt. And I would be totally happy with that. And as time went on, I thought, Theus, that's kind of cute. It's a little different. And that's kind of what I like, is with my daughter... Her name is Emily, E-M-M-A-L-A-G-H. Yes, there are other Emilys, I'm sure, in her class, but not another Emily spelled that way. So as I'm writing down her name, on her school supplies, I realized that I don't have to write her last name because I don't know who it belongs to. And that's what's kind of cool about Theus is if he writes Theus in our last name on top of his paper or if I write Theus somewhere, they're going to know it's him. Or even if I write Matthias. So. Theus is now three months old and we are totally in love with him. We couldn't imagine our life without him. So that is my baby names. I really did not have a girl name for um, Matthias besides the um, Avery one, but it really wasn't totally set. And Zach, I really don't think I... Don't really think I even thought of one. If I did, it has totally just slipped my mind. It's been eight years, so... Anyhow, thank you for watching my video, and um, please give it a thumbs up, share my video, um, what kind of baby names have you come up with, and did you come up with your baby names before you were pregnant, and did those baby names actually turn to be your children's names? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you in my next video.